Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I'm from executeautomation.com and welcome to the all new video series on Cucumber with Selenium. And in this video series, we'll be talking about Cucumber with Selenium in much greater detail. Because Cucumber and Selenium are altogether two different technologies, I have split this video series into two sections. In section one, we'll be talking about Cucumber and in section two, we'll be talking about Cucumber with Selenium. So we'll be gelling the Selenium with Cucumber. So please watch the section one completely before watching the section two because we will be using a lot of techniques from section one into section two. All right, so let's see what is there in part one. So in part one, we're talking about an introduction to Cucumber. So it's gonna be a very, very high level on what Cucumber is and what BDD is and how to work with Cucumber and what are the different kinds of tools and techniques available in Cucumber as compared to other different tools available. All right, so let's get started. So starting from this video series in Exit Automation channel, we will be adding this particular slide. It's a environment concern just initiated in myself to help the environment altogether. So I will be adding this particular slide for all these videos in upcoming videos of this video series in Exit Automation channel. So please be with me and please help to save the three water and energy to protect our motherly earth so that it can be used not just by us and also for our future generations or maybe in our future incarnations if you believe on that all right so let's get started introduction bdd or otherwise called as behavioral driven development is based on test driven development and it aims to bridge the gap between business analyst and developers so BDD not only bridges the gap between business analysts and developers, but also between the manual QA with the automation testers who write the BDD implementations, which is nothing but the step definitions. So don't worry about the step definitions and the implementation, all those things. We'll be talking about it in a greater detail in this particular video series though. So that's what it is. So BDD is actually going to be very, very helpful for both the manual QA with the automation testers and manual testers with the developers. So BDD seems to be like a plain text, but they have their own syntax based on certain tools. It is kind of very, very interesting because it's going to be like a plain text. It's like a text file, but actually it runs, it executes based on some of the tools that we're going to discuss. So the tool here is actually the Cucumber. So we are going to use this tool which is going to convert the plain text into an executable code. BDD supported tools. So there are many tools available to support BDD. Some of the most famous tools are Cucumber, JBehave, NBehave, and Specflow. And the Specflow and Cucumber, this is kind of very, very prevalently used tools in these days because Specflow is a tool for C Sharp people who just use the spec flow for writing the behavioral driven development based code and Cucumber is the tool which is being used across the developers uh, from the Ruby background and from the Java background and the Perl and Python background. So these are the different types of tools available to support BDD and all the above tools are used in conjunction with many different platforms as I already said and languages like Java, C Sharp, Ruby, Python and JRuby etc. So we have talked about Specflow a lot in our Exit Automation channel exclusively from part one through part 25 or 26. So you can go ahead and watch some of the videos out from there. So here is the video series, the BDD and Specflow. We have discussed about the BDD and Specflow a lot greater detail. As I said, we have 23 parts on the uh, Specflow video series. So please go ahead and watch that particular video series from our Exit Automation channel. All right, but all the above tools has one language in common, at least one of that, which is Gherkin. So Gherkin is what is going to be a language specification, which is going to be used across all these tools that we saw, the Cucumber, JBehave, NBehave, and Specflow. Gherkin is the format for Cucumber specification. It is a business readable domain specific language, which will let anybody to understand the software behavior easily and effortlessly since they are plain text. And Gherkin has some spaces and intendation to define the structures. And Gherkin has a very few syntax which makes the parser. So I'm saying the parser here. The parser is nothing but the tool which uses the Gherkin. The tool is nothing but this tool, the Cucumber or Specflow. 
to behave based on the structure. And the syntax of Gherkin is very, very simple and or pretty readable as plain text. So the syntax, as I said, is going to look something like this. The Gherkin syntax will have features, background, scenario, given, when, then, and, but, scenario, outline, example, scenario, templates. And now, this is the only language syntax that you will be learning from this particular section, the Cucumber section of this video series. Only 11 different syntax is there in the Cucumber to perform the operation. And there is no more syntax in Gherkin, basically. So, as I already said, it is just a plain text and we will be writing the code on the plain text to perform the operation. So if it is still kind of messy, if you don't really get what I'm saying, please hold tight. We will be discussing about a lot in a couple of videos in this video series. So the syntax of the Gherkin is going to look something like this. It will have a feature, as I already said. It will have a name of the feature and it will have a description and it will have a scenario with a description saying test user form page. And there will be steps like and I enter username and password and there is some kind of table structure there so don't worry about it yet we'll be discussing about them a lot and I click the login button and I enter the user details and I click the save button then I see if the user button details are saved so it seems to be like a very very plain text right but it actually executes if you hook the step definition for this particular feature file and once again step definition is something which we will be discussing about it a lot in our upcoming videos of this video series all right so what is the differentiation between the bdd versus a traditional automation code the bdd it is a plain text and it is easy to understand whereas the traditional automation is full of code and hard to understand and bdd it is very easy to understand by qa developers or ba the automation test engineers and all will be in the same page because BDD is basically a plain text, right? But the traditional automation where you write the page object model and so much of code, kind of messy. It can be understood only by the automation test engineers or some developers, but not by the BA for sure. And also the manual test engineers. So that's very hard. And since it's plain text format, BDD can be shared even to stakeholders which is impossible in traditional automation. And BDD, as I said, it has totally 11 syntax, so it's very easy to, to implement and learn, whereas traditional automation, you require much knowledge while designing it. So as that said, guys, let's discuss Cucumber in a lot more detail from the next video of this video series. And once again, thank you very much for watching this video, and have a great day.